Get ready to match the star, Bill Daly, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Rivers! Thank you, Johnny Olson and friends. Hello, friends. Hello. I, yes, green. Oh, and you got your basic black, but you don't. You don't have and your Brett pearls. And Brett, let me use her, her chains. Yes, that's very attractive. You're a chic, good-looking, gifted, talented bunch. Thank you very much. Matches your skin. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. In Encino? Yeah. No. Hey, listen. Cancel the reservation, you have a cold? It's all over between us. Why is that? On one of my flights across the country, some little man in the airplane, a male steward type fellow, uh -huh. came up to me and said, here are some junior, I don't have them with me, they're in the dressing room. He says, here are some junior pilot wings. Would you give these to Brett? She was on one of my flights. Tell her Quentin said hello. He swore he'd never squeal. So... I know, that it's all off between you and me and Encino, my dear. Let's say hello to Pua Nani Kandek and Wendy Wilchinski. Hello, ladies. This lady was won $5,600, and that's why she has a big smile on her face. And Wendy has had her... Have you had a question? Yes. Yeah. You've had your question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that sign is wrong. We're not starting with the beginning of round one. We're starting in the middle of round one. So just get that sign the heck out of there and hold up the sign that says starting in the middle of round one and we'll wait until you get it. Right. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. We're going to start in the middle of round one after we finish this bit of business with you. Let us carry on now. Middle of round one. So it is. All right, Puanani, this is all yours. Everybody plays. Willie fell asleep on the floor and dreamed he was a hairstylist. When he woke up, he discovered he was blanking the rug. <laughs> this fella here, Willie, you see, he fell asleep on the floor. This wasn't weird, though. No, just plain old Willie fell asleep on the floor, dreamed he was a hairstylist. When he woke up, he discovered he was blanking the rug. You really are Sir Walter Raleigh today, aren't you, Charles? Is it too much? No. No, I don't think it's too much. You carry it off very well. Thank you. Very well, indeed. Now, see his feet. we're going to come over here and talk to a poor nanny. Willie fell asleep on the floor. He dreamed he was a hairstylist. When he woke up, he was blanking the rug. Brushing. Brushing the rug. Well, are you saying all? Oh, what would you say? Shampooing the rug? Teasing the rug? What do you say, Bill? I put all those. All those things they said. No. I said, I think I'm close. I said, uh, backcombing. Wouldn't that be it? Back backcombing? Backcombing the rug? Yeah, that's teasing. But you teasing. have to brush with the back. That's right. That's well, no, that's different. From that's just different? plain old. No. Judge over there. Wait a minute. You've got to backcomb with the brush. Yeah. Wrong. No. That's Brett, what, I said what do you say? Wrong. I say I'll have a shampoo and a set. Shampoo and a set. Okay. All right. I said teasing the rug. I'm sorry. Teasing the rug is what uh, some the audience said. Puanani is looking for the uh, answer, brushing the rug. When he woke up, he discovered he was brushing the rug. What'd you say? Well, the way I do brush my hair is yes. I curl it. You curl it, yeah. Well, that's different from brushing, isn't it, dear? Mm. And, Richard? I say he was shampooing the rug. Shampooing. That's from the movie of the same name. <laughs> Fanny? I said he was combing the rug. Huh? Combing the rug. That is the fattest cat I have ever seen. <laughs> Isn't that a sweet, fat cat? Little? It's not. No, the cat is getting that middle-aged spread, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Here we go, round two. Wendy. Yes. You, would you like A or B? A, please. A. All right. Everybody plays since uh, she didn't match anybody in the first round. Officer O'Hara 
said to Lola the stripper. I says, Lola, you're under arrest. And for evidence, I'm going to hold your blanks. <laughs> Lola, what was her occupation? You're under, she's Lola the stripper. Oh, Lola the stripper. You're under arrest, Lola. And for evidence, I'm going to hold your blanks. Got the idea? I got it. Okay. I mean, withhold or Shh. take hold off. Shh. 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 Oh, all right. Quiet. Ready, Charles? Okay, everybody sets so we'll call him Wendy. Officer O'Hara said to Lola the stripper, he says, Lola, you're under arrest, and for evidence, I'm going to hold your blanks. I think the match game term is boobies. Boobies. <laughs> going to hold your boobies, she said. Hold your boobies. Hold your boobies. That's a new television series called right. Hold Your Boobies. Right. Okay. <laughs> I got to Hold your pasties. Hold your pasties. That's, That's right. not bad either, is it? Hold your pasties. You see, that was an intelligent question. I said, hold, do you mean hold as in grasp or well, withhold? I couldn't respond to that because that would be leading you to an answer one way or another, so I just had to be neutral. Yeah, well, they should be more specific when they write those little questions, boys. I said pasties as a result of thinking hold it was your pasties. withhold. I see. Charles... I said also pasties. Oh, <laughs> three pasties so far, Wendy. No boobies. Try four pasties. Four pasties. Sounds oh, like a bakery. Oh, yeah. bakery. Four pasties. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> and a Danish to go. Now, Richard, give the little girl of, uh, some boobies. <laughs> it's not my department. <laughs> And a pasty with a trick knee. <laughs> Boy, that would have been a great answer. Yeah, that would have been a great know. answer, Wendy. You've so far, you've had five so pasties. And I suppose Fanny will make it six. <laughs> no, just two. No, here's what... <laughs> here's what I... <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You know what I have to say? What? I say we haven't established that that dear thing took them off, have we? I no. said pasties. Pasties. Why do we assume she took them off? Well, uh, I don't know. I can't That's argue that. Sorry. Now, Puanani. The Andrew sisters. You, we have a question for you, but right now, uh, right now we got to do a little business, and then when we come back, you're going to have to match one celebrity to win your second game. Right now, this especially for you. Here we go. Puanani. Match one celebrity, you win another game. Everybody plays. You're getting it already. Here we go. Pinocchio said, Last night, Geppetto got drunk. He took me into his workshop, then he tried to blank my head off. <laughs> Last night, this is Pinocchio speaking now. Puanani, you know who Pinocchio is? You do. He says, Last night, Geppetto got drunk, he took me into his workshop, and then he tried to blank my head off. Okay. Right. Here is Brett. Oh, wait a minute. Are we back to the old music? No, that's the new music. And no improvement. It just Good sounds gravy. like the old music. Oh. Did you think if they were going to all the trouble yeah. getting new music, they'd get something better? Puanani. Pinocchio said, last night Geppetto got drunk. He took me into his workshop. Then he tried to blank my head off. Hammer. Hammer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wendy? There is hope. <laughs> she said, hammer my head off. Hammer? And there's some well, peachy possibilities in this question. I said, uh, screw his head off. You know. Screw his head off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, take it off. Brett? Hi, hon. Hello there. I said, saw and or chop. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Saw his head Thank off. Thank you. You do realize that, well, you told me you know who Pinocchio was. <laughs> Carved out of wood, right? right. Okay. Uh, Charles. I said what we say in New York. I said he tried to saw it off. Saw it off. What'd you say, little girl? Brett and Charles and I saw. Saw the head off there. Yeah. Okay, last night Geppetto got drunk. He took me to his workshop, and then he tried to... Tried to screw his head off. Tried to screw his head off. <laughs> All right. Get that head out of there, Fanny. Saw. 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 Wendy, what did I tell you? There is hope. <laughs> there is hope. As soon as I heard that answer, I knew Wendy had a chance there. We got a zip-to-zip -zip game. Uh, I don't want to say these two people are a little, uh, uh, but they sure are, aren't they? 
Okay, ladies, tiebreaker thing. We don't have to wipe the slate clean because there ain't no slate. <laughs> One question for each of you, the one who matches the most celebrities will be the winner. And Wendy, we ask you, do you want A or B? B, please. You want B. You got B. This is it. Count Dracula. Quit the hockey team. <laughs> because they wouldn't let him blank the puck. <laughs> Count Dracula quit the hockey team because they wouldn't let him blank the puck. <laughs> blank the puck. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. now he got it. I got it. You got it? Okay. It's the same melody with a different instrumentation. That's what I figured out. Yeah, nothing yeah. helps. Nothing helps. <laughs> What do you say, poor nanny? Oh, this is Wendy's. All right, hello, Wendy. Count Dracula quit the hockey team because they wouldn't let him blank the puck. He wouldn't get much out of it, but suck the puck? Suck the puck. <laughs> right. I got a feeling in my bones, Wendy has finally come up with a terrific answer, which everybody loves. And these dingbats say that. <laughs> what do you suck say? the puck? Suck yeah. the puck. You ever suck the puck? Suck the puck. Suck the puck. I suck, suck the, the puck. puck. Uh -huh. Brett? Well, I said bite. Isn't bite. that the same? Two, two different things. There, there. <laughs> now, Charles. New game show. Suck the puck. <laughs> okay, Wendy, well, that's two for you. Okay, my dear, we need a response from you. Well, I, everybody knows what Dracula is famous for. Yeah. So, of course, all you had to do was suck. I see. Okay. There it is. That's a match. Now Dracula quit the hockey team because they wouldn't let him suck the puck, according to Wendy. What do you say, sir? I don't blame him quitting if they wouldn't no. let him. No. I'm a sucker for a pretty face. That's uh, four for Wendy. Fanny, darling. There she is, Miss America. <laughs> My word. Yes. Now, don't be mad at me. I don't feel well. I said bite. Bite the puck. Well, that's, that's another good choice there, because that's what he is famous for. Okay, that is four for Wendy. Now, you've got your work cut out for you. You need four to tie, five to win. Mildred said, my husband is really cheap. I'll tell you. She said, I wanted him to give me a mink coat, but instead all that cheapskate gave me was a coat of blank. Would you write an answer down? Because he was so cheap. She wanted a main couple. They have changed the music. I've got a sneaking suspicion. I don't know. Charles! Oh, he oh, just will drive you crazy. Here we go, folks. Who are Nani? King Deck. They're playing your song. <laughs> Mildred said, my husband is really cheap. Okay, she's not going to ask me how cheap he was. She said, I wanted him to give me a mink coat, but instead all that cheapskate gave me was a coat of... Paint. Paint. That's very good. <laughs> What's that say? Ah! Ah, can't do that, though. That, that was just You threw that one away? Well, yeah, I threw that paint away. I'm sorry, I apologize. You threw that paint it away? It seems so silly, yeah. I'm oh. I put coat of armor. I'm coat sorry. of armor. I'm sorry. Okay, Go Bill. with your first instinct, right? You can't win them all. You can't win them. But well, try oh, one. I'm sorry. Right. You know, I come from a very fine family in Maine. Yeah. So I put coat of arms. Coat of arms, of course. Got to match all the remaining ones, Poon. I need to stay in the game. Charles. I'm sorry, dear. Coat of arms. Coat of arms. What the rest of you have? Paint. Go. Paint. Paint. Okay, Wendy, come on there. All right. You stand by there for a moment. Poon, it's time to say goodbye. Aloha. Aloha. 
Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, my dear, and I'm glad you won five thousand six hundred dollars to an American deck. While she's spinning off here, we'll spin this message for you. Aloha, aloha, aloha. Today's consolation prizes are from Pier One Imports, where there's a world of difference. A fifty dollar gift certificate for decorative handcrafted merchandise at any of three hundred Pier One stores worldwide. And a two-chest waffle baker and grill, snap-in Teflon grids, easily convert this waffle baker to a grill exclusively from Two Value Hardware Stores. And a hair dryer and Wella Balsam shampoo. Conditions your hair while you shampoo, leaves it looking healthy, shiny, and soft. You can repair split ends, Wella Balsam shampoo. Funny stuff coming up when Match Game 76, starring Gene Rayburn, returns in a minute. Here we are. Come over here, Wendy. Now, Wendy has won her first game. She's got $100 to her credit. She's going to try for over $5,000 now. How's that feel to you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Feels very yes. Very affirmative lady here. Wendy, we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank fish. Now, the answer that group gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. Now, if you match the answer they gave second most frequently, you get 250. The third gets you 100. Whom do you call on for a little help here? Richard, please. Oh, that great um, James Bond. Goldfish. <laughs> la, la, la. Goldfish. Yes. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> you really are fading fast, aren't you? <laughs> Failing very fast. There he goes. Okay. Fanny? Fanny. <laughs> Why did they do that? That's a good one. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> oh, that's the best silent ovation I've ever heard. <laughs> Fanny got a silent ovation on her answer. Terrific. Okay, so you got another one. One more. Lee. Lee. Third is tough, Lee. Gavilta. Oh, I don't know. I thought maybe cod. Really? Cod? Is that your real answer? I don't You, you said gefilte for a joke? Is that it? Yeah. But I don't what know. What are we going to do about that? She made a joke, gefilte. You want cod or gefilte? Or cod, okay. Cod. So you got codfish, tropical fish, <laughs> and goldfish. Now, you may choose one of those, or Wendy, you may have a better answer in your head. Have you got anything in your head? Nothing at all in Let my see. head. No, nothing in her head? Okay. <laughs> I think I'll go with goldfish. Goldfish it is. That's the answer that Richard gave you. We'll find out if it's up there, and if so, where. We will begin, as we usually do, my dear, down at the bottom, and reveal the $100 response. <laughs> Tuna. Hey, not bad, now that I see it, but it didn't occur to me. Goldfish. Are you under the $250 response? <laughs> Goldfish it is. Congratulations to you. Do you think it's tropical? I bet it is. What do you think? Catfish. Tropical. Tropical. The audience says tropical. tropical. All right, Earl, slide it. Cat. I'm off. He I was saying. So you got to play that I'll game be with me. Darn, he was saying catfish all the along Midwestern up there. Term, that's why. That's and then we all thought he was such a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't change my mind. <laughs> now, Wendy, you, you got three hundred and fifty dollars. You've just won additional oh, two fifty. It gives you a grand total of three fifty. Now you're going to play for 10 times 250 or 2,500. You've got to match one celebrity exactly in order to collect that amount of money, and it's time for you to choose one now. Richard, please. All right. Now you face me, and you uh, think, uh, get your thoughts going real strong toward Richard's direction and zoom in on the same answer he's going to write down when I give him the question here. Here it is, Richard. Coral. Blank. That's C-O-R-A-L. Blank. Coral blank. Now, he's finished. Wendy, we'll see how good your ESP is now. She's concentrating very hard. And let's see what she comes up with to match Richard. Coral. Can I ask you a question? I don't think this is the time. <laughs> what is your question? Coral, C-O-R-A-L. Coral Reef. Yeah. Coral Reef. I don't... You've given your answer now, but I didn't... Is there any other kind of coral? 
Well, when you get like this, there could be tons of corals. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. Oh, coral. Oh, that would be C-H-O-R-A-L, coral, in referring to a chorus. Well, all right. She says, coral reef will match you, Richard, for 2,500. What do you say, Richard? Well, that's exactly what I thought. Coral, you know, the tabernacle choir is... Oh, really? Yeah, their only number is reef. <laughs> $2,850. Congratulations to you, my dear, and we'll spin a little message for America right now. Just 15 seconds, say goodbye. I don't think we can do that, do you? No. No. Sorry, we're going to have to have a lot more time than that to say goodbye. We just can't do it in 15 seconds, right? No. Okay. Hello? Can't do it. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. Stay tuned for Tattle Tales next over most of these CBS stations. This program was edited for broadcast.